If you guys need help using the MPC software, I now offer live video help sessions via Skype. I cover everything from how to sample inside of the MPC software easily to how to make your own beats from scratch. I also offer help on constructing, arranging, and mixing your own full tracks. So check the link in the video description, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. What's up, guys? This is the kid DZD, aka the Drank King, live from the Dungeon Palace Studios. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thank you guys for checking out this video. I really appreciate it. If this is your first time with us, as always, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you also hit that bell icon because you don't want to miss out on the content that I'm going to be bringing to you guys. Before I get into the video, I just want to let you guys know that I really, really appreciate the support that you guys have been showing my Twitch channel. It's awesomely amazing. Just in case you guys have not followed my Twitch, you're going to get some nice, good content there. Content that you can't really find on my YouTube channel. We get in detail. We talk about tutorials. We talk about beat making. You guys get to watch me cook up. You guys get to ask me questions on the spot. There are giveaways. You guys get to send me your beats. I play them live and we wild out and we have a blast. I'm going to leave the link in the video description. All you got to do is click that link, follow the Twitch, turn on those notifications there and make sure you tune in when you get that notification. On to the video. This is something that was requested by me. It's a quick video. This is going to show you guys how to get everything nice and good whenever you're sending your projects out whether it's to a mixing engineer or a mastering engineer working with a different producer you can send it out have everything nice and good everything compact and it also fits well for you in your workflow so i'm going to show you how i do it inside of the mpc software and how i get everything straight in a nice package to send out to someone else the video is very simple but it also has some key things that you may not think about whenever you're packaging your files up stick with me check it out let's jump inside the npc software i got this beat pulled up we're gonna get this thing packaged up nicely to send it out let's do it all right so we have a project pulled up inside of the npc software this is a project that i did a while back we're just gonna use this for the purpose of this tutorial so i'm gonna let you hear what everything sounds like check it out track consists of my drum track with all my drums on it, my sample track, uh, piano chords, 808, guitar chords, lead, and that vocal that you guys hear in the track. Okay, so the object is to get all of these sounds out on their own individual tracks. That way we can export it out. Now, I'm not going to go through that because I have a video on that already exporting the tracks out and getting them all into individual stems, every sound in your track. I'm going to leave a link in the video description to that video. You can check that out. That way you can get to this point or I'm going to leave a card somewhere in the video. And all the object of that video is going to do is just show you how to get to this point to where you can now uh, click on your drum program, which has all of my drums. I'm going to go back to the home screen. And I'm going to show you this is all of my drums. Uh, it consists of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I got ten different drum sounds in this beat They're all on track one. The object is to get all of these drum sounds on their own individual tracks. That video is going to show you how to explode that. So I'm going to do that very, very quickly here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the drum track on the MPC. I'm going to hit the pencil and then I'm going to just simply hit explode. If you look at the track view, all that does is it mutes my drums, my, dr my actual drum track. It mutes that. And then it literally places my drums after that vocal track. I have all of my drums tracked out on one on uh, their individual tracks, all 10 of, 10 of those drum sounds. But again, just check out that video to show you how to do all of this. So now that we have all of these sounds on the individual tracks, our goal is to put this in a nice package to where we can now send it off. We wanna hit Control Shift E. That's gonna pull up your audio mix down screen where you can just export your stuff. Or you can go to this, to these three lines, go to File, go to Export, and Export as Audio Mix Down. There it is, Control Shift E. What I'm going to do is hit explode tracks because I want all of my tracks on their own separate individual tracks. I'm going to explode in the 24 bit 48K. That's where my audio interface is set at. OK, so now I'm going to hit the export. Now, once your beat is saved on your computer, you should have a folder like this. 
that has your NPC project file and then your project data file in it. Every beat you save, the NPC makes these two files for it. And these two files stay in together in whatever folder you put them in. As long as these two files are together, your project is always intact. All you got to do is click on this XPJ file or drag it into your software and it'll pull up all of your project data inside of this folder to pull up everything. This is what the NPC reads for everything to put it where it needs to be in your project. But we're going to create more inside of this folder. That's how I package everything up. We want to go back to our export screen. And when we export, we want to make sure that we point the NPC to that exact folder. Now you can't see the XPJ file. All you can see is the project data file. It's not going to show the XPJ file, but we're inside of that same exact folder. We just took our, our drop down arrow and navigated on our computer to that specific folder so we can work inside of there. I want to copy the name of this beat, what I named it as. The name of the beat I named it as is Figure You Out. I want to copy that. Just right click on it and hit copy. That way I have the title copy. Okay, now what I want to do is make a new folder inside of here and I want to call that folder stems okay and then i'm going to paste that title now i have a new folder ready for my stems to be tracked out okay so i'm not hitting the save yet i'm not going down here and hitting the save yet because if i do it's going to start start rendering out all my files i'm making a folder that i want it to go in inside of that that project folder okay so here we go then we have our, 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 our new stems folder. OK, we hit do it because that's the folder name. Now we're inside of that folder we just created. And if you follow along, it has now put that inside of my project folder. There's the stems folder. There it is. It's doing everything on your computer. So now that we're inside of that folder, this is where we want to save our actual sounds. OK, so all we're going to do is hit save and then it's going to track out all of our sounds one by one. It's exporting the tracks. OK, and if we look at the folder, click on the stems inside of the stems, you'll see them all being formed one by one. And it's putting the title of everything in the tracks. OK, so now that we're done, we have all of our tracks now here. Inside of the folder, they're all ready and all good to go. Now, what the MPC software does is it always puts that drum program right here that you that it's muted. You remember, we muted our first drum program up here where all of our drums were. And then to put our drums in individual tracks. The NPC will always give you that program, but there's nothing on it because it's muted, okay? So we don't need that. We can delete that, okay? And it always gives you your audio track as well, which is down here, and your audio, which we did not record any audio, so we don't need that either. The NPC will always give you those two files simply because they are the default inside of, of the NPC software. So we don't need those. Now we have all of our files ready to go. What I like to do to make sure that everything stays nice and neat and that I always have my original files that I, I, I rendered out of the NPC software. What I do is I create a new folder inside of there and I go ahead on and double and, and highlight all of, all of my tracks. Right click and I hit copy. I'm just gonna make a new set inside of this folder right here, okay? And then I paste that. Okay, now I have those those tracks inside. This is where we're going to work inside of. That way I always have my original tracks right here. And then we're going to relabel our files here because you don't want to send everything out of your NPC software with the files of your beat name, the track, all of that stuff like that, because it's just hard for anyone to read. You want your files very, very simple. You want the names very, very simple that, you know, when somebody pulls up your project, Everything is all good. OK, so we're just going to rename these files and we're just going to do it just simply by, by, by renaming the files. And, the, and you can just find the name of it inside of the file. So this is our sample right here. This is our sample that's renamed. We're going to rename our piano chords. OK, we're going to this is our 808 program right here. OK, and then guitar chords. OK, now I have all of my sounds labeled inside of my folder, and these are essentially the same as these right here. These are the original and inside of my new folder is now the files that we're going to work with the scent. They're all labeled. Everything is ready to go. This is where you get you can get detail what you want to do. The things that you want to include inside of this folder is not only your files, but what I like to do is create another folder and call this notes. OK. Now, this is where you're going to be able to 
put your documents. You can come up with a new document, a new text document, you know, and inside of that document, this is where you're going to put anything that you want the track to do. So we can say that we want, please print effects on all tracks. You know, this is just some random notes. You can ask the engineer or whoever you're working with, you can tell them that dry vocal and effects vocal, dry stems and effects stems. This is where you actually will be able to communicate with the person that you're sending the track to, whether it's, it's an artist, whether it's, it's a mixing engineer, wherever you're sending these files, you can you communicate right here in this note section and this is going to help that person to understand the different things that you want on the track we can hit save that that's inside of our uh, of our notes you want to grab your beat tag okay let's grab my beat tag i'm going to copy that i'm going to put that in the folder as well i'm going to paste that in the folder as well i got my per my beat tag in there this is how you basically want to form your project that you're ready to send. Okay, so now that we have everything inside of here, what we want to do is we want to zip this up. So we're going to back out of this to the new folder. We're going to call that the name of the beat. So what I'm going to do is just click on here. I'm going to highlight the name of the beat. Right click, hit copy. Okay, and I'm going to change this folder to the name of the beat. Boom. Okay, I'm going to put project now that I have that, all of my files are now inside of here. So all I'm going to simply do is right click on it and I'm going to zip that up. Boom, that's going to zip that up. My zip file is now here and this is the file that you now send out with all of your stems inside. And this is what helps the person that you're sending your files to, to be able to recognize everything. Everything is now good. You have all of your files in a folder. You have everything labeled. Everything is simple for anyone to read. They don't have to read a long title of names, nothing like that. And you have everything compact with notes in detail as to what you want done to your track. And those notes, you can get as detailed as you want because that's how you communicate with the person that's gonna be dealing with your project. Now that we have everything set up here, I'm gonna show you how this works. Check it out. You now have your MPC file, your MPC files, your XPJ file for your MPC software and also your MPC project data file. You now have your stems inside. When we open that up, you have your original stems, all of your original stems here. Boom, you have that. And you also have your project just in case you want to send, you know, send anything over or redo a clap, redo a crash, anything. You can just redo it in your MPC, drop it in here. You know, delete the one that you don't want, drop it in here. And you also have your project zip file that's ready to be sent. So all inside of one folder, all inside of one folder, you now have everything that you need and all of that. Now don't send this file right here, this entire file right here, unless you're working with someone that works in the MPC software and you guys are collaborating on a project or something like that. And they're able to pull up all of your sounds and all that good stuff like that. They have the same exact plugins as you. Then you can go it on and send the MPC file. But if you're working with someone on a project, what's usually required is that you send just the actual WAV files of every single sound that's on its own track. So I hope this kind of helped you guys out. This is something that I took for granted when I first started working with people and sending my tracks to different places. I didn't understand how to be detailed and how to communicate things well to the person that I'm going to be working with. But as I started to work with people, I started to develop this type of system, whether you're, I'm sending my tracks to another producer, I'm sending them to an audio engineer, or if people are sending their tracks to me, they pick up on this same exact type of thing. And everything flows well because our project is in order. That does it for the video, guys. It's pretty much straightforward. A little bit of computer knowledge, a little bit of thought, and you can get this done. Make sure you guys mash that like button if this type of content helps you guys out. I'm going to get more of these videos out. Drop your comments below. Drop your questions if you have any, and I'll try and help you guys out as much as I can. Again, thank you guys so much for supporting the Twitch channel. The link is in the video description. Follow the Twitch because you're going to get a notification, and you get to come join us, have a few laughs, and talk to me live 
on Twitch. So make sure you guys do that and I'll see you there. If you guys want to connect with me in any type of way or just send something just to say what's up, Instagram is probably the best place to do that. So make sure you guys drop me a follow also on Instagram at the drink Kang. Shoot me a DM and I'll make sure to get back to you guys as soon as I possibly can. Thanks so much for tuning into the video, guys. This is the kid DZD, aka the drink Kang, live from the Dungeon Palace Studios. And I will check you guys in the next video. Peace out.